Tubers. It's kind of Monday or Friday or Sunday afternoon or Monday afternoon or whatever, where you are, wherever you are in the world. This has been a video that I've been busting to make. Um, 10,000 subscribers, one. Holy crap balls, that's awesome. Everyone, thank you. Been promising a bit of an unboxing. A lot of you have actually got the hints that I've dropped, and I have dropped a few hints in the last week, and I have been absolutely dying inside to do this video. So basically what's happening, I have been uh, sent an evaluation BMS. So I get to test it, I get to play with it, I get to ask questions, I get to answer questions, and I am bloody excited. Um, the BMS itself is from Batrim When Energy Matters. Now they're a company, from what I can Google, um, they just make some kick-ass battery management system. Uh, none of this uh, cheap stuff off eBay. So I've used a bit of the cheap stuff off eBay. It has completely put me off BMSs. Um, I've blown a few up. I've done even a few off camera that I have been um, a little bit too disappointed to actually put up. Let's get to the unboxing. We got to we got to put that somewhere nice. We have a shunt. What have we got written on that? It's a. Uh, I'll have to read that later. Oh wait a minute. Oh look, this is the important stuff. Look at this gear. I must. I must say up front and I think this is some sort of legal requirement with uh, YouTube that this is not a paid endorsement I don't get paid for doing this this is an open and honest um, trial of this product and if it works maybe you know something will come off it if it doesn't work I'll put it in a in a satchel and send it all back and part, part of this process is going to be learning all these parts learning what they do what their function is and what what you know oh it's just awesome oh he can hook a shunt up to it uh, bms power can bus obviously it's a watchmon version one that's pretty cool got a usb port there got a couple of buttons for modes cool okay um this one's in a in a sealed bag very careful we'll keep all the wrappers just in case okay so we got power input Atrium. it's an expansion board of some sort okay what are these okay so there's four packets of four um, again I'm going oh wait a minute they're open at the top there okay I wonder if I oh very careful okay now I did read up something about these I think these are called long mons and these are the modules that actually um, that actually balance the batteries so that's oh, that sticky residue all over it I wonder if that's got something to do with aiding its um, thermal capabilities cool definitely do some more research into that and how that works I really just want to rip into this, but <laughs> I think I'm going to have to sit on his website, try and work out everything. Okay, give me a clue. I have no idea what that is. Oh, oh I broke it already. Oh, no, I didn't. I have no idea what that is. It looks like some sort of, um, maybe a, a rack mount sort of a system or something. Maybe, maybe these clip onto it. Oh, we'll have a look later. We'll keep moving. there some sort of enclosure that must actually enclose the BMS that's cool what we got here it really does feel like Christmas okay so that's oh that's another watch bond oh that's two there okay don't know why we need two but else we got hello what's that get some more light up in here and it just smacked me on the head um that 
I don't think has anything to do with my system. That's a demo board. What have we got? Positive, negative, patreon.com, positive, out. I wonder what the out is. There must be some cable. I think there's, there is a box of cables. Leaf S2 version. Oh, I wonder if this sits on top of a Leaf battery. I probably should play, place a phone call before I upload this video, but I think it might be more fun to upload it and then ask questions later. I what that is. Oh, I wonder if that is a jumper that clicks onto there. A whole bunch of cables. So I'm gathering... Jeez, there's a lot of cables. I wonder if there's any difference between them or I just pull one of them out. This is never going to happen, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to make a mess for sure. Oh, that wasn't so bad. I got two. So I wonder how these were. Okay, so... I might just use this board because it's here. That must plug into there. Okay, so we've got an in and an out. So the little one is the in, and the big one is the out. And then we've got the positive and negative, so they must go onto there. Obviously this, uh, obviously this would go to the next one along or something. How neat's that? I think with a little bit of effort, my mind's already racing. Now I wonder, so there's one of my mounts. Grab a pack. Uh, put it close to the edge, I guess. Of course, typical Pete fashion, I haven't put too much thought into this video. Probably should, considering the gravity of what I've been um, sent. Okay, so if that is that module, it's got two plugs there, and I am talking aloud because I haven't done any research on this. Like I said, one goes in there, one goes in there. I could somehow mount... If I got it, someone to 3D print something, I could actually mount those. It's all insulated on the back. Maybe if I got some, some tape or something. They are so thin, I could make them invisible. Now, I have to work out where this heat goes and how much heat there is and stuff like that. But you could... It's possible that I could set this entire BMS up with only two or three wires visible from three feet away. I might jump on their, on their website and do some research on how all this stuff works. Download some wiring diagrams. And, of course, with me cleaning up all that, I'm going to take down those two pegboards like I said in the last video. I'm going to mount them up on the wall. And I'm going to test all of this gear before I attach it up to my big bank down the bottom. I can watch it, I can log it, I can sit right next to it, I can double check stuff with my multimeter. It's going to, it's going to be, this is going to be great. I've got to stop talking now. I'm going to leave you with it, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for dealing with my crap for the past week, hinting at it, but I wasn't allowed to release it till Monday. So there you go. Patreon.com, link below, cheers guys.